Big news out of the USB world with this recent announcement of the USB 4.2 standard, which is an update to the USB protocol and will give us a massive improvement in speed. Read this announcement article in a bit and talk a little about USBs and the USB protocol standard. So I'm excited to bring this news since I don't get to talk enough about protocols and hardware on this channel. USBs are some of the most commonly used ports in the world with the latest type being USB-C, which I'm sure you have if you have a modern laptop or computer. You probably have a port or two that's USB-C. These ports help us connect to all types of peripherals, including things such as mice, storage, monitors, keyboards, and much, much more. And USB also helps us charge our devices because it has power delivery capabilities built into the USB design with five volts being the standard. So what's the goal of USB? Well, it's really in the name. So USB stands for universal serial bus. And the key here is universal. What they want to do is basically make one standard connector so that we don't have a mess of different kinds like we do today, including some companies like Apple purposely changing the design so that you have to buy their specific types of cables. Let's talk a little bit more about the specification. So, so what does this standard actually specify for us? Well, a few things. One is the protocol that's being used to transfer the data. So I just think of this as the standard for data being transferred. Number two is communication. So how do these devices actually communicate with each other? How will they act together in unison? Number three, we have power supply. So what's the standard to supplying power to all the peripheral devices that we attach with USB cables and the protocol standard? Number four, cables. So they get to define what kind of cable you use, how many wires are in that cable, which ones do what, all that fun stuff is defined by the standard. And five is going to be the connectors, which we're all familiar with. If we've used a computer before, there's different types of connectors, so you got USB port A, B, C, micro, mini, all that fun stuff, the different types of connectors that we use to connect our devices to a, another device. Again, the focus here of the spec is to have one standard connector with very fast transfer speeds, which they're doing, and making connections as easy as possible between devices based on their design. So now let's actually talk about one of the main benefits here of USB 4.2. But to do that, we have to talk about some of the speeds from previous generations. So we're gonna call this one USB 1.0, which had a transfer speed of around 1.5 megabits per second. Then we have USB 2.0. Of course, there's some subset in between this, like 1.1, 1.2, etc. So we're not gonna necessarily talk about every single one, but kind of the generational improvement of the standard and the speeds inside of that. So 480, megabits per second on the USB 2.0 standard. USB 3.0 gave us another great improvement of five gigabits per second. Quite the improvement between these two. Amazing. Not to understate the first improvement, but now we're getting into gigs. And then the USB 4.0 standard came out and that gave us a whopping 40 gigabits per second. And finally, the USB 4.2 standard is said to give us speeds of up to 80 gigabits per second, which is absolutely fantastic, actually fitting in the same type of connectors that we use today. It's really just an upgrade to the protocol. And of course, there's many more benefits here. And we're about to get into the press release in a moment and talk about all the other benefits that we have. But before we do, smash that like button for me and let's talk about one of my favorite things that Apple has been forced to do, at least in Europe. And here's an article about it. Apple's having to switch to the USB-C adapter type in Europe by the end of 2024. After a recent parliament vote for enforcing the standard charging port. You can read more about that if you're not familiar. I'm sure most of you are by now, but it is a win for the standard, at least in the sense of trying to keep connectors all the same across mobile devices for the most part but now it looks like they'll be forced to change up their iPhones and their Air AirPods in order to have the latest USB-C charger and not have their own adaptation of it, which causes a pain because then you have to get by their cables and you just can't swap between devices easily. Anyways, a huge win there. So now let's get on to the press release 
for the USB 4.2 standard so we can understand what we're getting with the latest update in the standard. So USB IF announces publication of the new USB specification to enable USB 80 gigabits per second performance. Absolutely amazing. October 18, 2022, USB implementers form the USB IF, the support organization for advanced and adoption of USB technology today announced the publication of USB 4 version 2.0 specification. A major update to enable USB 80 gigabits per second performance over the USB-C cable and connector. The USB 4 specification doubles the maximum aggregate bandwidth of the USB to the benefit of higher performance displays, storage, and USB-based hubs and docks. That's right, we now have more bandwidth to support even more devices running in tandem together, especially when you start using these USB-based hubs. You can imagine now we can add more peripherals to those hubs because of the more available bandwidth with the USB-C type of connector. The USB Type-C and USB Power Delivery USB PD specifications have also been updated to support this level of data performance. So you can now download the updated specifications on their website. I'll put a link in the description below to this article. Of course, things are backwards compatible here, but the key characteristics of the updated USB solution include up to 80 gigabits per second operation utilizing a new physical layer architecture based on PAM3 signal encoding over existing 40 gigabits per second USB-C passive cables and newly defined 80 gigabits per second USB Type-C active cable. We also have updates to data and display protocols to better use and increase the available bandwidth. And finally, backwards compatibility with all versions of USB. This is absolutely fantastic news. We can utilize our existing USB-Cs with devices that are planning to use the USB 4.2 protocol in the future. Let me know what you think in the comments section below about this new announcement of the USB 4.2 standard protocol. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.